Today is Sunday, the 18th of February. It's the first Sunday of Lent, and our Gospel is from Mark chapter 1, verses 12 to 15. Today's Gospel is only a few lines long. It's only four verses from the first chapter of Mark's Gospel. The Gospel has a stark beginning. Mark writes that Jesus was driven into the desert by the Spirit, and as we know, Jesus stayed in the desert for 40 days. What was that time like for Jesus? Was it a spiritually dry time or was there a clear sense of God's presence to Jesus? It had to have been an extremely ascetical experience. Jesus was there alone with wild animals. His only consolation was being ministered to by angels. Were these days also comforting for Jesus? Did he have a clear sense of God's presence with him? Or was this time in this arid wasteland a spiritually dry or disturbing time? Mark tells us that there were wild beasts in their territory. Was Jesus concerned for his safety? Jesus remained in the desert alone for 40 days. Can you imagine being alone in the desert for 40 days? The heat, the dryness, the sun beating down on you, having no one to talk to or simply be present to you? Most of us will never spend an extended period by ourselves in the desert. That is a very special call. However, I would guess that at some point in our lives, each of us have had an experience of the desert. It might have followed a significant loss or a serious illness. It may have been the loss of a loved one, our job, our hearing, eyesight, loss of income or of our ability to work. Take a moment and reflect on that time. What was your reaction to your loss? Anger? Depression? Isolation? Numbing? Running? How did you experience God during that time? Was God close to you or did God feel far, far away? Jesus understands our deserts. Jesus spent time in his own personal desert for 40 days. These days were not easy for him. Jesus was tempted by Satan. He was surrounded at times by wild beasts. His consolation were the angels coming and ministering to him. After this experience, Jesus went to Galilee. As he travelled through Galilee, he proclaimed the gospel. His main theme was repentance. Daily he told people that the kingdom was at hand. Jesus is telling us the same message today. Do we believe that the kingdom is at hand? We have heard this prophecy for years and yet the kingdom has not come. Yet one day it will come. We do not know the day nor the hour. Will we be ready? Will we look forward to seeing God face to face? Today may be the day. Be alert. Stay awake. Be prepared. Our God is coming to us. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.